Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Well, we got some interesting stuff to talk about, so let's get right to it. First up on the list, the Shanghai Motor Show actually just ended up, and one of the most interesting vehicles that I saw come out of Shanghai was this vehicle. This is the Smart 4 Jeremy, which is a terrible name. It's built on the Smart 4 2 platform and was actually done in conjunction with a fellow by the name of Jeremy Scott. Jeremy Scott's actually a U.S. born fashion designer. Actually, he was born in Missouri in the United States and went on to, gosh, fashion shows all around the world. Actually did a little work with the Adidas uh, Footwear Corporation too as well. So, but this vehicle is quite strange. The huge weird fins off the back of it and whatnot. Now, the vehicle is got a 55 kilowatt electric motor and electric battery setup. So it is going to be an EV. No word on what the actual range of this vehicle or what pricing. But apparently this thing is going to go on sale in smart dealerships around the world. So, if you want your own Jeremy Scott edition, or the Smart for Jeremy... Uh, you can jump on down to your uh, smart dealership right now. Now, I was going to put a picture of Mr. Scott, because I had to look him up because I didn't know who he was. But the fellow is quite frightening looking, so I thought it might just be best if we don't even show him on this show. So, interesting car. We'll see what comes of it in the future. Next up on the list, the FIA have actually come out and said the Formula E series is a go. Now these are going to be smaller Formula cars, probably Formula 2000, Formula 3000, Formula Renault, something like that, chassis. And then they're going to run an all-electric drivetrain. Now they actually brought Luca Degrassi out here, an ex-Formula 1 test driver, to do some shots of this thing actually in Los Angeles, California, just here a week or two ago. Now this series, not real sure on how this vehicle is going to work. But if there's one thing that'll move the needle when it comes to EV and EV technologies, as far as battery life, as far as range, as far as performance altogether, it is motorsport. So this will be the perfect situation. The FIA getting right behind this particular series. It's going to be starting up in the year of 2014. And we have some of the cities that this vehicle, this vehicle series is actually going to be working around. This chart shows off a lot of them. It's going to have two stops in the United States, one in Los Angeles, one in Miami. It's got a stop in Argentina, one in Brazil. One of them is going to be in London, England, also in Rome, Italy. Uh, there's going to be a stop in China and a stop in Malaysia. So tons of spots all around the world are going to have this particular series come through their town. So it's going to be kind of interesting. We'll see it come about 2014. We'll keep you in tune of what's going to happen with this series and where it's going. Next up on the list, Audis. They came up with this concept several years ago, the R4. Apparently, they're wanting to get back in on this R4. It's going to be just under the R8 platform, but it's going to be a mid-engine rear-wheel drive car like the Alfa Romeo 4C, which is basically what Audi's wanting to go after. This is always exciting to me when other companies want to jump in and go after another manufacturer after they've built a particular automobile. Now, if you don't know a whole lot about the Alfa Romeo 4C here, well, it's a small engine, uh, like 250 brake horsepower, uh, mid-engine rear-wheel drive automobile, going to have super handling, and the sucker is super lightweight. Now, not only is Alfa getting into this program, maybe Audi, another manufacturer, another one under the Fiat banner, says they want their own 4C. It's Maserati. Now, the thing that really makes me think, hmm, when it comes to this situation is... Sergio Marchione has actually come out and said that they're trying to come up with enough cash to buy the rest of Chrysler. That's the Fiat group talking. Well, the Alfa Romeo group's under Fiat. The Maserati group's under Fiat. If Maserati ends up building their own 4C, could possibly the Alfa Romeo group be sold? Maybe sold to a German manufacturer? Maybe that German manufacturer would be called Volkswagen? Volkswagen's been very interested in Alfa Romeo. Sergio Marchione has said on many occasions that it is not for sale. But if they're really trying to come up with enough money to buy the rest of Chrysler from the UAW and from the U.S. government, maybe that's a situation that could work. And maybe I'm just reading way too much into this. Maybe Maserati just wants their own little mid-engine sports car. Next up on the list, BMW's in the news. They got a brand new M6 package called the Competition Package. 
Now this thing comes with all the good stuff that makes my engine run. Now this is pretty interesting. This vehicle will be going on sale in the North American market in late summer of 2013. So we'll keep you in tune of what pricing may be on this vehicle coming soon. Now it's going to have the standard 4.4 liter V8. That's twin turbocharged. Going to that did put out 560 brake horsepower, but this package will be putting out 575 brake horsepower. They're also going to take off the speed limiter, which did limit it to right at around 155 miles an hour. This vehicle will be going all the way up to just under 190 miles an hour now. Comes with 20 inch wheels, 10 millimeter lowered ride height. It's a little bit more of a track ready machine. A uh, pretty interesting piece of kit. Can't wait to see what this thing comes. Like I said, we'll keep you in tune when pricing and an actual sales date where you can get down to your BMW dealership, get your hands on one yourself. Next up on the list, I'm going to talk about hybrids a tad bit. Hybrids have kind of, uh, that's a technology that I wasn't the biggest fan of. Kind of warmed up to it a little bit more just because it's way more practical than maybe a hydrogen power vehicle or even electric vehicle. Uh, the vehicles are great in an urban setting, but not the world's greatest if you get them out on the highway. That would be better off if you ran diesels, but diesels don't sell well in the U.S. market. That may be changing very soon. Now, a lot of pundits have actually been going on about how maybe hybrids have now plateaued in the North American market. As the first quarter of this year, we've seen hybrid sales go down a bit. Now, hybrids in the United States don't sell very well anyway. When I first started really focusing hard on motor cars several years ago, um, hybrids were only about just a touch under 3% of the market. Now they're just a touch over 3% of the market. Not huge growth for a actual technology that's been around well over a decade. Now there's probably about 60 to 70 different hybrid models in the United States, but... 60% of all hybrids sold in North America are all under the Prius brand. And the Prius brand has expanded from the standard Prius all the way up to the Prius V and now the Prius C city car. Now the trick with all these vehicles being sold is Prius has kind of taken it on the chin when it comes to this. Down 8% in the first quarter, which doesn't sound like a lot. 55, over 55,000 units were sold in the North American market. Trick is, is Toyota was planning on selling 250000 for the whole year of 2013. No mathematician, but only a quarter in, and you have, you've only sold just a touch over 55000 At present market sales, they're only going to sell about 223000 and that is if nothing changes. Now, if fuel prices go way up, obviously the sales of these automobiles will go up as well. But from a lot of people talking about it, may not be happening this year. So, have hybrids plateaued? Has it gotten to the point maybe where their niche market has maybe kind of gone by? Another situation happened about a year ago when they talked about that 80 to 90 percent of all hybrid owners didn't buy another hybrid, which I thought was very interesting. But the more you think about it, it is a niche market. It is a situation like a Ford Mustang or maybe even a Jeep Wrangler. Chances are most people that buy these automobiles are not looking to renew that situation. They bought it, had their fun with it, and now are going to move on to something else. This happens with any type of niche market, and that's exactly what the hybrid market is, at least right now. Not mainstream yet, but could be very, very soon with a lot of manufacturers heading in that direction as well. And that's all I thought was worth talking about for this week's Motor Cars Enthusiasts. If you want to jump on over to the Facebook page, the, sh the link's down in the show notes. Got a couple of really cool videos on there, especially about a 13-minute movie actually made by the Jaguar folks that is really doggone entertaining with the brand new F-Type. Also a new shot of the new trailer and a little bit behind-the-scenes stuff from the new Fast and Furious 6 movie. And also, if you want to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time and get the first dibs on the new shows as soon as they're out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again real soon.